Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in this video, I am going to explain you how we can get the folders from the orchestrator using Postman. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create the authentication and get the access token by using Postman, right? So this is a prerequisite for you to go ahead with this video. You should have the access token handy with you. Only then uh, by using that particular barrier token, we can perform this action, which is getting the folders from your cloud orchestrator using a Postman. Okay, so uh, if you're not sure um, to what is this access token and to learn more about it, I will share the link for this video in the description. Please do watch that and you will be able to catch up with what we are seeing in this video. So in, uh, in order to get the folders, so what I'm actually doing, so let's go to the Postman. So here in the Postman, what I'm actually doing, so let me take a new request. So here I wanted to get the uh, particular folders from the orchestrator. So before to that, let me show what are the folders that I have in my orchestrator. So this is my orchestrator. Let me share that. Okay, it's already shared. So this is my orchestrator. So here, if you just, uh, I'm going to my tenant. So in my tenant, I'm actually having multiple folders. So it's getting opened up. Okay, so you can see I have multiple folders. This was something that I just created for testing. So uh, all these folders, it has to retrieve and show once after I do the API request. Okay, so for that, what is the API that I'm going to use? So let me copy that API first. I will show you um, how you can get the API also. So for that, uh, let me share the connector guide so in the previous video i have also uh, shown you where, from where you can get this uh, particular uh, you know urls for everything to do these requests so you can go for uipath connector guide and i will post this in the description as well you can get this from there so what you have to do you have to uh, take this particular url for your api okay so just copy this and then go to your postman So here, just paste this URL. Just modify the it a little bit. So here, if you see the URL, it should be uh, your, which is uh, particular to your cloud account. So I'm replacing this with this one. So till here, I'll just copy the whole path. And I'm going to postman. So till underscore. Okay, so this is perfect. This is uh, confined to my particular cloud orchestrator tenant. Okay, so after that, what I have to provide in. So if you just see uh, the headers, it should it should contain some headers. Okay, so just like how we have provided the header in the previous uh, one, which is uh, content type. Let's provide that. So give the content type and the value should be okay application slash JSON. And after that, I have to do the authorization. So if you see till here, if I just click on send, it will not work. It shows that you're not authorized, but uh, you're not authenticated, right? So for that, you have to do the authorization. So what is the authorization uh, with respect to for this particular cloud orchestrator? I have to use the barrier token. So how I can get this barrier token? So this is the one that I have collected from the earlier request, right? So I have it handy with me. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it here in the token. OK, so if you don't know how to get it, as I said, you please check out that video and you will get the enough understanding. So just say send. And you can see 200 okay. And also you should be able to see all the uh, folders that are there. So it shows 11. So just cross check with your 
orchestrator 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 perfect right so we've got all the folders and let me show you the format how it is actually replicating okay so if you see each folder will have a key and the display name and the qualified name the provision type and the permission model and also the id id is the most important thing uh, for a particular folder so we will be using this particular id going forward so as of now we have got uh, it for all the folders that are there in my tenant okay so that's it um, in the next video i'm going to show you how we can use this uh, particular url and how we can do the same action using http request would be one video and using um, orchestrator http request would be another video so you can choose between whatever the activity you are using for your automation and you can get your work done so i think this is useful uh, for all of you um and if you wanted to see more content on this uh, particular activities, do let me know in the comment section. And also, if you're facing any issues, please do let me know in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to my channel.